Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about a very hot topic. We're going to talk about Spotify. Now there's no question that Spotify is today the world's largest music platform and almost everybody in the world has got a Spotify account. There's no question about that. But how great is it really for the artists? First of all, let me point out that this is only my opinion and it definitely is based on facts. But your opinion might actually differ from mine and that's perfectly fine. So let's get started and let me tell you the hard truth about Spotify. Okay, so as some of you may know, I actually do have a band and it's called Excelsis Tenebrae. And I am actually going to start incorporating a lot of the band's material into this channel. But don't go rushing into Spotify and typing in the band's name just yet, because you won't find it there. If you go into your Spotify account and you type in Excelsis Tenebrae Eternity Denied, you won't be able to find this thing there. And that's a very good reason why. Just a quick reminder, don't forget to drop me a like, drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel like your man if you haven't yet. And please, hit that join button down there. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you, and even yourself might fall into this, they're going to tell you that making CDs or vinyl is a waste of your time and your money. And they might be onto something, but that's not completely true at all. First of all, we've already seen the rebirth of vinyl. Just go on your Instagram and you will see thousands of accounts of vinyl collectors and even yourself might have bought a vinyl or two. So there's still a big piece of the market that still wants to listen to music in a physical format. They still want to flip through the pages in the booklet. They still want to have that physical content and they still want to listen to music in the highest fidelity possible. Now, I'm not here to tell you that CDs are better than vinyl or vice versa because they are actually very different. And I do have an opinion on that based on facts and a lot of research on my end. But I will save that for a different video. We're talking about Spotify here and why is it worth it or not to have your band there. So I will talk to you about my particular case and why my band is not on Spotify. Okay, so first of all, to make it on Spotify, you're going to need to invest a lot of money into it. It's not something that happens overnight. It's pretty much a lot like YouTube. In fact, they almost pay you the same amount. So here's the deal. From a business standpoint, Spotify actually pays you 0.0038 of a dollar. So that means that they roughly pay you about a third of a penny per stream. And in order for a play or a stream to count, they have to listen to a certain percentage of your song. That means that in order for you to make $1 out of Spotify, you will need 263 plays of your song. And that's if every play comes from the United States of America. Because here's the deal, Spotify ads and memberships are actually more expensive in the United States. So everywhere else they pay a little bit less and of course they give you the same percentage. So that means that you get the same cut or the same amount, the same percentage off of a cheaper or a smaller membership fee. So let's say for instance my band actually has a lot of fans from Brazil and Malaysia or at least it has a lot of YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers from those regions. Now their streams actually pay you about half of what a stream from the United States would pay you. So that would mean that for you to make a dollar, you would need about 500 plays on that same song. That's a lot of play for not a lot of money. So what do I tell people when they ask me if we're on Spotify? I tell them no, but we do have a physical EP and you can get this thing for $5 and listen to it as much as you want. And if you don't wanna pay for it, which is fine, you can still find us on YouTube. Now YouTube pretty much works the same way. You get a percentage from the ads and it really depends where the viewer is located. And it can range anywhere from like $12 every thousand views to like $3 every thousand views. So it comes out to about the same. On an average, YouTube will actually pay you a little bit more. But the cool thing about YouTube and why I prefer it is that you can actually have an interaction with your followers. You can leave a comment, I can respond on that comment we can actually have a back and forth. You can tell me what you liked about the song, what you didn't like about the song. I can post the lyrics on it. I can tell you what gear was used to record it. It really becomes a lot more of a personal relationship. And if you like what you see and you like what you hear, you can actually share it with your friends and family and they can come back to the channel and make it grow even more. And personally, my channel is not just about death metal or my band. It's about guitars, it's about rock, it's about metal, it's about recording. It's about Queen and so much more. So you can actually feed off of the band's fans, of metal fans, rock fans in general, and grow even faster and better. 
and let alone people becoming members. And if the people really enjoy your band that much, they will have no problem spending the $5 and getting the physical copy and blasting this shit like man. Also, I can't believe how many bands don't actually release physical material. That's crazy. First of all, in most countries, you need to have something like this in order for you to copyright your songs. Secondly, by selling only one of these guys, you make as much money as if you had it on Spotify and 2,000 people listen to it. Third, this is great promo. Some of you actually know that I hosted a metal radio show because some of you actually tuned in and listened to it. And it wasn't just my show. I was actually a part of a metal station and we had between 15 and 20 DJs. And we would get a lot of materials from a lot of up and coming bands that wanted us to play their stuff. And it would be way too much. But every now and then we got one of these guys on the mail and we would blast the hell out of it. Cause you better believe it, sending the actual physical thing goes a long way. Also, like I said before, since in a lot of countries you need to have the physical in order for it to be copyrighted, you also need to have the physical in order to broadcast it. Cause you can get audited and you can get fined big time. And no radio station wants to risk that. So they are not going to play you unless you send a physical release. So yeah, great promo tool. And you can't expect a radio station to pay for it either. You won't believe the amount of messages I get on my Insta saying, hey, check out my band and they just send me a link. And I'm sorry, I just don't have the time. I can't just go and click on every Insta message I get and listen to a whole song or album, especially because I hate MP3s. And I don't have a Spotify account and I probably never will. So I tell them about my radio show and the YouTube channel and how I'm going to start featuring new bands and stuff like that. And they tell me, yeah, you can buy it through the band's website. I don't think any radio station is going to pay to promote you. But if you actually send in your CD and your stuff is copyrighted, you will get the royalties for it. So you will actually get some of that money back. And chances are, you already have a lot of CDs. You only have to pay for shipping. And if the station actually plays your CD and they take a picture and share it on their social media, you will actually get more orders. I made about 200 copies of this bad boy right here, and I am down to my last 20. I am actually thinking about making more copies, but maybe I'll just hold up until the new release instead. Okay guys, so I really hope you guys found this interesting. You drop me a comment in the comment section down below with any comments you may have, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong. If there's anything you learned or anything that you know that I don't know, just drop me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. Of course, drop me a like if you liked it, and if you made it this far and you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel like your man. And as always, if you want to become a part of the team and you want to really help the channel out, just make sure you click on that join button down there. A little goes a long way, trust me. I'll see you guys next time. Pat out, metal on dudes.